As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. In this video, we will look at the Python API in Insight that can be used to automate post-processing operations. Everything that you do inside of Insight gets recorded in the command language. You can open up the command language panel over here in the file menu to review the sequence of commands which are essentially actions used in your current Insight session. Each one of these lines here corresponds to an action in Insight that I use to create the post-processing object that we see here in this Insight session. You know, whether it's a zoom function, the creation of clip planes, uh, a variety of graphical objects, a command line will be entered here in the command panel. This command language is essentially just a journaling language that's very powerful and of course contains all the fine details associated with whatever you're doing in Insight. The difficult part of this command language is that it is not human readable and it does not allow for logic operations, you know, things like making loops and uh, things of that nature. I'm going to show you how to easily convert this command language into Python so that it is human readable and you can easily make edits and automate many of your post-processing operations. There's a variety of reasons why you would want to automate you know, post-processing post operations. For example, what we're looking at here on the screen is just a simple natural convection simulation of a vertically oriented cabinet that contains an electronics package that's generating heat. And you know, of course, on top of that uh, package is a heat sink. But let's say you have several design variations and you need to create a number of images for a report. We can use the Python API in Insight to automate the process of generating all of these images for us, you know, for all those various design uh, variations. So uh, let's just go ahead and create a couple images here. So I will create one image here with the vector uh, arrow plot and the temperature uh, plot that we see here. So we'll just go over here, export image, and then we'll choose the location that we want to uh, send the image to. Maybe we'll call this scene, and this is the 75 watt uh, design variation. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that. Click OK. Then maybe we want to change uh, the view orientation to, let's say, the positive Z, and let's go ahead and get rid of this vector arrow plot and the legend here. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit here, and we'll go ahead and export this image as well. Uh, maybe instead of scene, we'll call this a temp. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Now if we were to go in here, what we can see is those two images that we had just created. Right? If we double click them and take a look, we can see those images that we had just created here. Both the scene that contains the vector arrow plot and the temperature a contour and then just the, the temperature contour as well. So now what we can do is go back into Insight and we'll open up that command panel. And we can see here in this command panel, you know, those various commands associated with, you know, the saving of, of images. So what we can do is uh, select all of these commands by clicking Control A. We'll copy the commands as Python. We'll go into this Python tab, click New Python File, and then we can go ahead and paste those Python commands here. Now what we can do is just take a look at all these commands that we've converted into uh, Python. And probably a good idea to go ahead and save uh, the Python file to the appropriate location. Maybe we'll call this post uh, processing script. Go ahead and save that right here. Now we can always load this Python script into any Insight session uh, to, you know, automate uh, the post processing. Right. So let's just go ahead and do that. We'll open up a new Insight session, and we'll read in that Python script and automate the process. 
replicating our graphical objects in Insight using referencing a different Insight case file. So we'll just go ahead and go over here to the Python tab, click New Python File, and we'll just go ahead and open up that Python script that we had just created. Now we can come in here, since it's human readable, and just go ahead and make a change, right? We'll reference the other design variation. That's a 100 watt uh, version of this uh, electronics package. Then maybe we want to rename the image files as well. We can do that here inside of this Python environment. Now, all we need to do is run the script. When we run the script, basically, uh, Insight's going to run through all of those various commands or actions that took place inside of Insight and generate these new images, right, for the 100 watt design variation. This demo was just one of the many ways that you can take advantage of the Python integration within Insight. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.